all by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. Uh, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a gay day. If you hear Jackie from Jack's Bags Attack in the background, she is on my projector. I'm just waiting for the TV to catch up. Here we are. I hope everyone is having a gay day. How is everyone doing? So I thought we'd chit chat about a lot of things today. Um, I've got some bags next to us that we're going to go over. Oh, my eyes look so puffy. Oh, what's going on? Um, some things we'd go over. I thought we'd chit chat and talk about stuff. See how everyone's doing up in the club. Is Jackie still going? She's still going, yep. Yeah. She, she does a marathon. She does a little marathon. Um, waiting for the chats to catch up on the screen here. Let's fix this a little. I have had this coach scarf for nine years, I think. If you go back into my videos, I wore this scarf nine years ago. Isn't that crazy? Um, are the chats going welcome live? Chat remember. Is anyone, if, you, if you're in here, will you type something on the chat so I can see if anyone's in here? Oh, there's Jackie. Okay, Jackie's ending her live now. I love you. There we go. Monarch D. Hi, everybody. Aloha. Aloha, aloha, aloha. So Jack's, Jack's bags of tax is over. Let me turn off my projector here. Can I do it from here? Yes, we can. Um, how is everyone doing? Aloha, kakahiaka, pehe oi. Google that. Um, hey, hey, hey. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a gay day. So let's go over a couple of things. Um, hi everyone. Hi there. Let's go over first. Let's get it gay up in here. Um, so we're going to do it with afternoon swim okay let's see here oh god it smells so good it's like a gay beach um winnie i love you more i love you more winnie it's like a gay beach when you when you spray afternoon swim oh so good so good um okay so i got a new box of Bobby Brown Beach, so I thought we'd unbox that together um, and kind of go over it. If you've ever watched my lives, um, you know I love Bobby Brown Beach. Um, Milik Leaky Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Um, Winnie B. LV says Milik Leaky Maka. Um, everyone knows I love beach. It reminds me of Waikiki in a warm, sunny day with your toes in the sand and the sun beating down on you and you don't have any SPF on and you're frying. <sighs> I miss my homeland. Um, oh, do you have Bobby Brown Beach? Yes, yes, yes. It's so good. Um, I also have the dupe, um, Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. Somebody told me about that, about the Bronze Goddess. Um, so I went and got that too at the Cosmetic Outlet. Um, so I got that, I love it. Um, but I went to Nordstrom. Um, my girl who manages the Bobby Brown counter, I was walking by and she was like, hey, Saya, do you need a bottle? And I was like, oh, yes I do, yes I do. Um, do you ever think about going back to Hawaii? Yes, I do, I do a lot. Um, kind of thinking of more along the lines of Palm Springs, maybe, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. Does everybody know the brand Moschino? First off, let's, let's give Jacob a, a little thoughts and prayers to Super Jacob. Um, he would have been live today, so that's why I'm going live today. Um, but he loves Moschino. How gorgeous, huh? Um, Moschino. 
I love Moschino. Look at how thick the leather is on that zipper. I mean, this is a heavy duty tote. Um, it's got feet. I always say four feet in chic. Um, it's got a little clochette with a key ring here. Um, yes, hearts to Jacob. I love Jacob. I've been watching Jacob's. We both started our YouTube channels around the same time, nine or 10 years ago. I've always loved Jacob. He knows that. So he knows we all care for him. And I hope he knows that um, while he recovers. Um, yes, Moschino. It's got leather on the zipper pull. Très chic. Um, this one I got for when I was traveling with Foxy LV. We went to Beverly Hills. Um, and I needed a good carry-on bag that wasn't a Birkin. Um, yes, girl. Um, so this is a great travel bag. I'm thinking of getting rid of it because I haven't touched it since I went to Beverly Hills because I bought the matching, um, what are they called? Not a fanny pack, a bum bag. And I wore it across my chest. And then I bought the matching backpack. So I'm thinking about getting rid of this one too. Antenna, what? No, I don't want an antenna. Hold on here, people. I just lost. I don't want antenna TV. No channels detected, canceled. Hold on. Something just happened to my TV and it said antenna. No, I don't want antenna. I want the interweb. Take me to the, take me to the YouTube. What is going on? Take, uh, Debbie, did Jacob go live this AM? Oh, did he go live? I don't, oh my gosh, what is going on? Are we gonna have to do this without the TV? Hold on, people, I am so sorry. My TV is doing something. Did I lose the internet? Okay, we're just gonna turn the TV off for a second. Um, no, he is still recovering. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, is it the ghost? You guys know my house is haunted. Yes, see, the ghost, see? Oh my gosh, something. So I'm watching it on my TV and it just went to like antenna. Do you need an antenna? Um, oh my gosh, that's so, this TV is like brand new. Why is it doing this? No channels found, please. Press OK to scan. I don't want to scan. I just want you on home base here. Why is this doing this? Okay, we're gonna scan. Okay, we're just gonna do whatever it wants us to do. Scan automatically, okay. TV type, there's, yeah. Okay, just do your thing, girl. Um, be, be gone from size home. Be gone. Um, so while that's doing its own thing, I know the ghost. I don't know why it's saying I need an antenna. I don't even have an antenna. I denounce you. I denounce anything evil. Um, so I had my daughter's old iPad. I have an iPad too. I should have hooked that up. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually really scary. Yeah, there's no antenna, so there's nothing to scan. Cancel, home, home, okay, there we go, there we go, okay, hold on, hold on everybody, hold on, I think we're, we're back, I think we're back in the saddle here, um, do I need tech support? Red Team Go, Red Team Go, hello Best Buy. Yes, I bought this TV from you three months ago and it's it's on my last nerve. It's acting a fool. Um, okay, hold on here. I am so sorry, everyone. Let me get up in here. Nope, get up in here. Go down one. Go back to the live. Frozen Luxury is live. Are we there? Are we there? Are we there, Chelsea? It's me, Saya. There we go, okay. Okay, so moving forward, Ed, 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 Ed. Hello, Ed. Um, so a brand I wanted to talk about was J.W. Hume. J.W. Hume started in 1905 in St. Paul, Minnesota, down the street from where I live. Um, 
I bought this bag, I used it once, and I never use it again. Cause guilty feet ain't got no rhythm. Um, but there is a scratch. Oh, I love, there's a murder on the dance floor. Um, tell me how gorgeous this bag is. It's huge. She's a, she's a big bag. I like big bags and I cannot lie. Um, this thing is huge. If you need a big work tote, this is the bag for it. Um, I used it once for work and never used it again. It has a crossbody strap. I mean, this is how much I've used it. I've never opened the crossbody strap. Look at the lobster claw. It is like substantial. Um, and it comes in a very nice dust bag. JW Hume. So I'm thinking about getting rid of this one as well too. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. The retail on this one was like a thousand something, I think. But I got it at the sale. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I know I said it in another video. Every, if anyone wants it, reach out to me. Shoot me a message. I'm down to trade or sell. Um, same with the Moschino. Um, let's see here. So another bag I have that I never, never use for some reason is my Fendi tote. I love this tote. It's so cute. Um, there's a bunch of change in here. It came with a little pouch that says Fendi Roma. Ra, 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 Fendi Roma, ma. It's detachable. Um, the inside says Fendi as well. I've just got some change in there. Um, I have not used this in so long. Okay, how much do you guys think a Fendi tote like this would cost? It's in like a thatched leather. Tell me how much you think a tote like this would cost. Leave it in the thoughts and comments and prayers. Um, then I'll tell you what I paid and why. Yes, the blue is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love this tote. It's such a great tote. Um, I think the retail on this tote was under a thousand. Um, I got this for a hundred dollars because it has a little patch of missing paint right there. Um, oh, are they about 2K, Don? I thought they were under a thousand. 1500 okay. Um, would you guys buy this because it has that little patch on the back? I bought it. It was like $98. So there's a place here called Opitz, um, Opitz Outlet, and there's two buildings. I've talked about Opitz um, before. Opitz has two buildings. One building is 70% off where everything is brand new. It's just 70% off retail. The other building is 80 to 90% off, but things are damaged. So that's where I got that tote bag from because it's damaged. I can fix that myself with a little um, leather paint. So that's what I'm probably going to do. Or uh, like Dee says, um, send it to a cobbler. Um, the downside of Opitz is they do not answer their phone. They do no internet sales and they do not sell through the website and they do not sell through Instagram, but they have an Instagram. Opitz Outlet, O-P-I-T-Z. I only know that because I used to do their social media. Then the owner's daughter came back from New York and they fired me um, because she wanted to do social media. Um, and then they stopped doing social media. Oh, geez, huh? Should have kept Saya going on that one. Um, so yes, yes. Um, let me see what else. Oh, so I thought I gave away all my coach bags and I was down to that black Illuminati one with the all seeing eye. Jay-Z, Rihanna, if you know, you know, I'm not into it. Um, but I found this coach at the bottom of all my tote bags, under a never full, under, what do you guys think of this one? 
She's a little dirty. I have taken this to, let's see, this thing has gone to Vegas. This thing has gone to Palm Springs, Florida, um, everywhere. I've taken this, I've taken this beauty everywhere. Oh my God. There's the Moet Chandon <laughs> cork in there. That's, I've taken it everywhere. Um, yes, baby shark. Da, 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 da. And on the back, there's little penguins drinking champagne. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? Um, another bag I wanted to talk about that I got from Opitz because it was dirty. Now, this bag is very dirty. I, I'm past the point of trying to clean it. I think at this point, I'm going to put it in a um, mesh bag and just throw it in my washer. It's part leather, part nylon, but it's a Parenza Schooler PS1. Now, I put PS1s on my Instagram today. So if you follow me at Frozen Luxury on Instagram, there's a PS1 in my story. Um, I love the PS1 bag. I love Parenza Schooler. They are underrated it bags. Um, you can get them brand new. They hover around the 15 to 2500 range. But the real real has them for like a hundred to three hundred to five hundred. So I got this one for ninety-eight dollars because it's discolored. Now I've used this thing to death, so it looks a lot worse now than when I bought it. When I bought it, it really was not discolored, but remember, I've used this thing to death. So there's a lot of discoloration here. Um, there's color transfer on the back. Um nice thick guitar strap, very thick metal, Princess Schooler here. Um, I love this thing. I mean, to show you, look at how clean the leather is. This is butter soft right here. Everything else is nylon. This is butter soft. Um, the inside is clean and it actually is numbered and it's numbered like 002, I think. Here we go. Princess Schooler, made in Italy, 002. Can you believe that? I got this for, what did I say, $98? Um, this is a substantial workhorse bag. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love this bag. Um, but like I said, I've used it to the bejeebers. So I think at this point, I'm going to... Um, put it in a mesh bag and throw it in my washer with a little oxygen bleach. Oxygen bleach is what we sell at the store. It's sodium percarbonate, 100% dehydrated hydrogen peroxide. So it won't hurt the leather or anything like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do with this bag. I love this bag. I've taken this bag to New York, to Vegas, to LA. This is my little carry-on. Believe it or not, this fits so much. Um, this will fit a bottle of water, your boarding pass, your iPad, your phone, your chargers, everything. Um, I've taken it. I love it because you can't get into it. So if I'm in New York and I'm like walking around, you can't get into it. Um, so I can't find that here, the oxygen bleach, except OxyClean. So that was from Winnie BLV. OxyClean is 20% sodium percarbonate. Um, and then 80% filler and chemicals. If you want oxygen bleach, the sodium percarbonate, 100%, you have to get it from our website, um, thelaundryevangelist.com. Um, it's one pound bags and it's $10. Uh, Debbie says Amazon. I can't speak to what they sell on Amazon. A lot of people do buy it from Amazon and call the store and say, this happened to my garment, this happened to my garment. And I ask, you know, I can't find your file. Where did you get it from? And they'll say Amazon. Um, so I don't know what's in, you know, the product from Amazon. Um, but I know what we sell and I can speak to that. Um, Winnie, just shoot me a DM because I have a gift box I want to send you to. I got you something from Coach. Da, 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 da. Because I love you and you're awesome. Um, next... Let's talk about my Ralph Lauren Ricky. Um, so what did I get this Ricky for? What did I say, $57? So it was from Goodwill on eBay from San Francisco. Shipping took forever. Um, but it's a Ralph Lauren Ricky. The retail on this one, um, I think is 2,500 or 2,600. 
Craig Birkenboy might be able to correct me. But now this one is heavily used, so I had to order black silk twillies from eBay um, to cover the handles. The handles were beat to bejeebers. Um, it's a symmetrical print, but tell me what you think. So I like it with the wings out, and I wrap the handles. Um, so you can put the wings in like this, and then there's straps that come through and keep the whole thing shut. Um, Jackie, that, the Ricky Jackie just unboxed, I need it. That little one, not the, um, not the bucket bag. I want that little one. Um, yes, this was limited edition. So Craig says 2,800 new. Mama Dung got it for like $57. Um, so this one, uh, I was using this one, so it's got all my stuff in there. Um, okay, Winnie, first of all, it will be a fight to the death, okay? I will take off every Kmart ring I have right now and fight you, because I want that Ricky. Um, the inside, so it says Ralph Lauren, made in Italy, and it's got pockets. Um, the inside, the leather is so butter soft. So, so butter soft. Um, let's just kind of see what's in my bag. Um, I can't tell you how soft this leather is. Um, I have a tripod. So when I make my little 30 second funny videos that you guys all love, that you better be supporting me on, um, I use this little tripod. I got this from eBay for $6. This is the wallet I'm using right now. It is coach for Keith Haring for Disney. Um, I just thought it was like a funny, crazy print. So I've been using that. Um, my H2 keys. Okay, so I might have went a little overboard on getting some of these twillies. Okay, so there's Mama, Mama Dome went a little overboard. Um, it came with a crossbody strap, which I don't use. So this is the crossbody strap. I don't use that. I never really use a crossbody strap. I love carrying top handle bags. Um, I might put this, I have like a whole dust bag full of crossbody bags, crossbody straps. Um, okay. What else is in here? Oh, I got a hotel room with a friend of mine. Um, not that long ago, and this is the key for it. I had a Kia, and it was stolen, so these are the legal papers for that. Um, but look at this. I mean, isn't this just gorgeous? Let me put the... So if you want, you can leave the flaps open like a phantom bag. Um, and that's the cover, so this is the snap. Like you would have seen on um, Caleb Snell's or Jackie's, this is a snap and it goes right there. Or you can close the whole thing. I'm on the fence if I wanna keep this or not. Um, I hate seeing people using the Ricky straps. The bag doesn't lend itself to the look in 33 centimeters. Um, I kind of agree with you, yes. Um, I'm on the fence if I want to keep this or not, just because it gives Birkin vibes. And at that point, I might as well use my Birkin. Uh, hold on here, if I can get this to go through. Oh, I did it wrong. That's why it's being, that's why it's being like that. Okay, hold on. It does take a minute if you want this all closed up, but it looks phenomenal, phenomenal closed up. Um, I love to cross, I'm such a rebel. <laughs> Let's see here. So, Let's just keep getting this one closed up. 
What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Should I trade it? Should I give it away? What would you do? I mean, I love it. I love, love, love it. I just don't know if I need it, you know? You know how we all... Yes, different color, different way, different vibes, but it still kind of gives out that B. Keep it, it's a good one. Yes, now years ago, in like 2016, I had a patent leather Ricky um, that was black and yellow, black and yellow. I just, I got one coming from Jack. You better not, Winnie. <laughs> I am like, we are all on the hunt for Rickies now um, because of Caleb. I went through a Ricky phase in 2016 and I loved it. You know what um, Craig Birkenboy and Jack's bag attacks, Jackie? Here's what it looks like closed. So this is it closed. The sides are in. Um, so it's all locked in. The seat belts are, the seat belts are in. So that's what it looks like. The bottom is very substantial. It's actually got three like leather pads or leather strips for feet. This is a gorgeous bag. Um, I like it with the wings out. Um, Jackie's going to sell me that, that little mini Ricky before Winnie can buy it. Cause I'll throw another 150 on that. Jackie, you just let me know. Um, so there's that. Um, and then Jill just sent it to me that yes. What else were, what was I talking about? Um, yes, it's a beautiful bag. I'm super, super happy with it. I can't believe I got it for that price. Oh, so Birkin Boy, Craig and Jackie have me looking for a boxer bag. Um, Oh my God, I'll throw in the MJ Toad in a barrier reef. <laughs> I will top that with um, an endangered fish of some sort. I'll ship you an endangered fish plus the 150 plus this bag and whatever else you need. So I'll, I'll, I'll raise you. Um, Jack's about to have a whole vlog sale. <laughs> oh, Winnie, you'll top me? It's been a minute. The shutter speed's not what she used to be. Um, they want me getting a boxer bag from Reed Karkoff. So I'm very aware of Reed for um, Kohl's and Reed Karkoff. So if you don't know, Reed Karkoff quick history, was the creative director for Coach for many years before Stuart um, took over. He's the one that really made Coach go into the outlets, and it's kind of what they're rebounding from because the outlets were so big, but he made some amazing bags. He made the Poppy line, the Scribble line, Legacy, everything. Um, and he had his own line of brand. He had his own brand called Reed Karkoff, his namesake. Um... And he had the boxer bag. And it is absolutely amazing. It's stunning. When they came out, they were like in the thousands. Now you can get them for like 50 bucks on Poshmark. Um, they're all leather. They're absolutely amazing. They come in a variety of sizes. Even his totes are amazing. Um, I need one. I need one. Jackie has three. That's not fair. And... I'm going to take myself out of the sandbox, stomp my feet, and go home and just bite my pillow um, because I need one. And um, Jackie is ignoring everyone. <laughs> oh, Dee, did you? I just got the Reed Karkoff tote in red and pink. Where'd you get those pearls, Winnie? From Brian. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat, so if you're part of the rewatch crew, um, the chats are along on the screen. I don't know if you can rewatch us with chats on the screen. I've never seen them, um, so I don't know, but I'm running off an iPhone, um, so I don't know about that. What else do we got here? Oh, I guess I was using that bag. What bag was I going to change into? Let's, let's do this huge coach. We're gonna use this huge coach for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna use this, okay. 
Let's dump all this in here. Um, we'll use this bag tomorrow. Well, hello. So we're gonna use this coach bag tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have to work um, on a Sunday till 9 p.m. because that's just how retail management goes. When you're in charge and people walk out on you, that's just what happens. Um, <laughs> you know, because of me to pay more. Um, yeah, so this is the Ricky. Do you guys think I should all keep it? Um, I would not mind, at that price point, gifting it to someone who's never had a Ricky before. <clears throat> Winnie B. L. V. because she's not on the train. Um, I wouldn't mind gifting this to someone who would really use it um, or who would really love to have a Ricky who's never had one before. I think it'd just be a cool thing to have. Maybe another content creator and you can use it for a month, then send it to another content creator. They can use it for a month and we could all make videos about it and different reviews and how we use it. I think that would be cool. <laughs> no, sorry, just send it to me. Um, so we'll see. Debbie says keep it. Brian wants it. Um, I have so many bags, you guys. It's crazy. Um, oh, do you think Autumn would be like, okay. Um, Brian, even I have a Ricky now. I don't know if this would be Autumn's jam, would it? Because it's, it's used. It's, I don't want to say heavily used. Um, I just don't know if it would be Autumn's jam because it's not perfect. And I know she's a little more meticulous with her bags. Um, I'll message her because I adore Autumn. I have loved Autumn since day one. Um, when I did Men on Bags with Jock Luxury, that's when I met Autumn. Um, Ed, so I would absolutely use it in my gym. Oh, Ed, okay. Okay, Ed. If Jacob would do it, that would be so cool too. I don't know if Jacob would do a Ralph Lauren. Ed, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Let's chat. Um, and yeah. Is this your jam? Okay. Um, girl, it would be like Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, shoot me a DM on Instagram, Ed. Um, but back to Autumn. I've been watching Autumn since she first started. Um, I absolutely adore Autumn. You know, there was a chat room once where they were all talking smack and Mama was lurking McLurkertons in that one. I didn't say anything. I caught the tail end, but believe me, I have no problem calling a bitch out, especially if you're talking about Miss Anna Beckman. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I ain't here for that. I will put all my Kmart rings up and fight because I ain't here for that. Not Miss Anna Beckman. That woman is a saint. Um, so yeah, Ed, yes, yes. Ed, shoot me a message. I'll send you a little gift box. Um, as long as you make a, not on my watch, as long as you make a video about it, Ed, your thoughts, um, you know, first impressions, things like that. And I'll send the handles wrapped. So the handles are very well worn. That's why I bought the black Twillies. I'm excited. I love Ed. I adore the shit out of Ed. Um, if you guys don't follow Ed, um, click, oh, I don't know if you can click on his name. Um, find him, on, find him on here on YouTube. It's under the same name. Um, hello from Greece, Athens. Um, Greece, let's see. The closest I've been to Greece would be Egypt. Um, that's as close as I've, I've been to Greece. Um, oh, we were going to open Beach from Bobby Brown. Yes, Ed rocks. Ed, Ed, Ed is the jam. Ed is that girl. Um, so let's open this, this beach up. <laughs> oh, you got that? Let's open this beach up. <laughs> that was, that was very witty of me. Um, I have no nails. I bite my nails. If you bite your nails, press one. If you let them grow out because you have no form of anxiety, press two. Um, so Bobby Brown Beach. This is the 1.7 ounce. 
Um, oh, Craig, girl, Craig, you're like day one. You're like day one, girl, day one. Um, so, 1.5 around. I'm surprised there's no tissue or anything or no stuffing of some sort. Is that normal? Is that normal to just have it in the box like this? I don't know. When, have, when you buy the Louis perfumes, they come like in the cylinder and they're very, very in there tightly. Is that normal not to have any sort of tissue or, or packaging of some sort or styrofoam or something? Um, I don't know. So this is Bobby Brown Beach. Eau de Parfum. Oh, um, she's my favorite girl. Oh, Craig's my favorite girl. My favorite girl. Um, so let's, oh God, I can already smell it, you guys. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, you guys, it's like, Jacob's so good at describing perfumes and colognes and scents. This is if Copper Tone had a baby with warm, hot sand on a Waikiki beach in the afternoon when it was 87 degrees and no one was around you and you had a, a can of Coca-Cola, not Diet Coke, Coca-Cola. So you go, mm, yeah. Oh, Autumn Sensor Love. I adore me some Autumn. Um, that's what this smells like. If you've ever... If you've ever been to a beach, that's what this smells like. A tropical beach with copper tone suntan lotion. Oh, my God. You guys, this is the jam. Do you know how many bottles of this I've bought in my mother and she does not care for it? And she grew up on the beach. Oh, Caleb! Caleb, we were just talking about you because we were just talking about the Ricky. Aloha, kakahiaka. Um, a nude beach. Well, when mama was a little lighter. Um, yes. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. But yeah, yeah, back to the packaging. I thought there would be something in here. Um, Winnie, we should do a live together for Weight Loss Wednesday um, to talk about weight. Because if you watch my videos from nine years ago, even the Men on Bags videos, I've gone from 140 pounds to my current weight, which I don't want to say, but I want to get on the Azempic train or the Monjero train or whatever it's called um, and lose some weight. I used to weigh a lot and I would bike to work at the Mall of America at Henry Bendel. Um, and I would bike 9.6 miles each way. It was 9.6 miles each way from here to the mall and back. Um, uh, hold on. Sorry, my neighbor's texting me. Um, I did it in winter, fall, summer, negative 10 degrees, 97 to 110 degrees. I was about it. I got down to 140 pounds and mama was snatched. Um, so what I want to do, what I've been talking to my doctor about is going on some sort of weight loss medication. And when I lose some weight, I can get back into biking. Um, unfortunately at this weight, it's just hurting too much to start biking or to force myself to do what I did years ago, biking 9.6 miles each way. Um, so I think once I get some weight off, I can go back into that lifestyle. Um, so we'll see. Caleb, we were just showing off the Ricky I'm going to send to Ed. She's got a new home. She's going to have a new home. Um, yeah. Ed, don't let me forget the crossbody strap because I just put it in a different bag. Um, so yeah, there's that. I am really surprised that there's no sort of tissue in this packaging. I wonder if that's, I, I guess I don't remember because I always do buy Bobby Brown Beach, but I never look at 
the packaging. I just ripped that, that beast open and oh my gosh, I really wish I could buy all of you a bottle of this so you could try it out. It is absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, I am obsessed. So Afternoon Swim is very different. Afternoon Swim still has that beachy copper tone vibe, but it's not as warm. This is if you're swimming literally in the afternoon where the sun's starting to go down, but you're still on Waikiki, you're still on the beach, you still have a little copper tone on, nothing heavy, it's washed out because you've been swimming all day. It's still very nice, afternoon swim. Now, I've got almost every scent Louis makes in this collection, um, and then the scents before that. So I have Sun Song, everything. Uh, what is it, California Dreamin', California Dreams, City of Stars, I have them all. Um, my complaint, and I know a lot of people, I've gotten back and forward on this issue on Caleb Snell's, um, uh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking out. Not his website. Um, Caleb has a, what is it called? It's not a website. Um, starts with a D. Um, why am I blanking? Discord. Yes, I have Cactus Garden. I love it. Cactus Garden is amazing. Um, Discord, yes, yes. I've talked about how these scents don't last on Caleb's Discord. Um, and I guess it's different for everyone because some people say it will last all afternoon. Um, to me, it lasts 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And at three something a bottle, um, I don't know why I keep buying them because I'm addicted to buying Louis Vuitton. Um, you go into that store, you know, and you just got to buy something. You can't just go in there and look, especially at the one here in Minnesota, um, where they are rude. Um, you can't just look. They hound you, and they've got that stanchion at the door. Um, now, me being me, I will not wait in line somewhere to spend my own money at your store. You will let me in and let me um, shop or I will come back later when there is no line and I will let you know my thoughts on a stanchion at your store. I understand a stanchion like Burberry at the Mall of America has a stanchion um, because of theft. Fully understand, I'm friends with all the girls at Burberry. Um, they let me in no matter what, I can look around, very easy going, you know, I can ask the price on anything, blah, blah, blah. Stanchion at Louis, girl, Girl, you are not that jam. You are not her. You are not Hermes. You are not Chanel. I love you to death. I've even got a Louis tattoo. I've even had a couple of interviews to work at Louis. But, you know, yeah, some people in the chats are saying the scent does not last that long. And I agree. Um, what's crazy is Bobby Brown Beach will last all day. All day. And people think I'm wearing copper tone, which I love because I'm from an island. Um, but you were not that girl. You know, that's what's crazy. Um, Tory Burch. Tory Burch is right next to Louis Vuitton here. Um, is Tory Burch that girl? I always say yes, because I like Tory Burch. Um, do I own a Tory Burch? No. Would I buy a Tory Burch? Yes. Would I buy a Tory Burch full price? No. Um, I've been to the Tory Burch outlets. They are gorgeous. Tori Birch, her stores are phenomenal. Whoever does their merchandising, planning, interior design, their stores are phenomenal, gorgeous, inviting. Uh, to me, Bendel, Henry Bendel was a gorgeous store, leather walls, everything. Tori Birch is along those lines. Um, the Tori Birch outlets, are outstanding. They are phenomenal. They're gorgeous. I love them. Um, and I think what happens is everybody has their niche. I think what Tori Burch's niche was, was every girl was buying that shoe. Um, you know, you go to Burberry, you get your trench coat. You go to Louis, you get your bag. You go to Tori Burch, you get that slip on shoe thing that everybody got. Um, you go to coach to do your returns. Um, 
you know, you go to Kohl's to get your Reed Karkoff. That's just how the pyramid of consumerism works. Um, Don Loves Couture says, I won't buy Tory full price. I'm the same way. Now, what I have bought in full price from Tory are her candles, um, one of the perfumes, and a ring. Um, I don't think she makes her candles anymore. Um, they're gorgeous. The vessel, so it's, I don't think it's plastic. It might be glass. Um, nice long vessel with metal over it. It's outstanding. I just don't think they make them anymore for some reason. Um, what I like doing, speaking of like, if you won't pay full price, um, I call the Versace outlet in Vegas. I'm on a first name basis, so they know me. If they're busy, they will call me later. When they are not busy, I do not mind. Um, I work in retail, I know how it is, girl. I do not wanna be that customer. Um, but I call them and they will FaceTime me back and show me all the bags and jewelry. That's the only thing I'm interested in at Versace is bags and jewelry. Um, uh, and they will show me everything they have, credit card on file, if it's something I need, I tell them and they ship it right to me. Birkin Boy Craig says, I'm not sure why I've lumped Tori with Michael Kors. I can appreciate the bags, just not for me. I've never tried one, just not for me. That is a very bold statement. Um, because a lot of people see Michael Kors, this could just be my perception. If you look at the triangle of luxury, there's Hermes, Chanel, um, Louis, Prada, Gucci, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Michael Kors, she's at the base of the pyramid. She's, she's the, the base, she's in the basement, girl. She's under the basement. She's the substructure of the pyramid. Um, Tori Birch. I think Tori Burch wants to be between contemporary and full luxury. The price point suggests that. The stores look like that. Um, are they between that? I don't know. I'm not um, too familiar with Tori Burch. Um, so we'll see. But to say it's on the same lines of Michael Kors now, there's Michael Kors when he was creative director of Celine and he made those amazing swimsuits or there's Kors for Michael Kors by Michael Kors at Dillard's at 35% off. And then if you use your Kohl's cash, you get another 5% off. And then if you're at Macy's and you're a Macy's card holder, you get another 30% off. Um, that was a mouthful. So there's that. So that's a really big statement to say. Um, hmm. I've never, D says, I've never been into a Tory Burch. Winnie, Caleb, do you see Jackie's new mini Ricky? Caleb, did you see Jackie's new mini Ricky? It's gorgeous. She got it for a steal. Now, she got it at Clothes Mentors. Um, I have been to a Clothes Mentors before. Um, there's one here that's about half an hour away, that's only Louis and Chanel. Um, racks on racks on racks of Louis and Chanel. I don't know who's selling it, but they've got racks of Louis and Chanel. Um, the prices are medium to high. They'll get some really good deals here and there. Um, I don't know how she bought it though from Close Mentors unless she follows them on Instagram. Um, I don't know. Uh, Don Loves Couture says, Tori wants to be luxury. So the Tory here is in the Galleria. Um, the Galleria here, so we have the Mall of America and the Galleria. The Galleria is not like a normal Galleria, like Houston Galleria. Houston Galleria is like everything. Um, but the Galleria here has Tiffany, Kate Spade, um, Coach, Tory, Louis, um, Lululemon, that's about it. We don't have anything crazy. Um, Lux Sensational says, I would put Coach there before Tori. Okay, so Tori, she wants to be luxury. I think she is that girl, but is she the luxury girl? If you guys follow Sergio from Sergio's Secret, he actually met her in um, Houston at the Galleria. 
and um, had her sign one of his bags. He stopped her security and was like, please, I'm just a huge fan. Um, it's the way my mind works. I put Coach above both in Tory Burch and Michael Kors. I agree with this. Okay. I didn't mean it in a bad way. It's just the way my mind works. I put Coach above both Tory Burch and Michael Kors. I do put Coach above Michael Kors. Yes. Um, by banning the loser. I think Tori is Kate Spade adjacent above Michael Kaur, but a touch below coach. Well, Caleb, that's very interesting. Um, Don even puts coach above Tori. To think Tori is Kate Spade adjacent. That's, that's a topic to talk about. Caleb, that might be a really good video for you. Um, I really don't see that. I'd have to respectfully disagree. Um, to me, Kate, this is just because of what I see at the Mall of America. There's Kate Spade, and then we have a huge Kate Spade outlet. They should have built the outlets at the Mall of America. The outlets are literally across the street. Um, Kate Spade, Don says Kate Spade had much more cachet when it was first released. Yes, they were like box bags with skinny handles and a little tag that said Kate Spade. Because I remember that because I remember seeing the knockoffs on Canal Street where you could just rip off the sticker where it's supposed to be sewn on. Now, Kate Spade and Tory Burch being adjacent. Here's a bit of Tapestry Street. It's very hard to acquire Tory. Um, hmm... I see Kate, Michael Kors is in the basement of the pyramid. Kate's that first floor studio apartment, okay? There's Michael Kors in the basement. He's been there, it's dusty. There's the washing machines. They're coin operated for the whole building. And then Kate is that studio apartment. Now, what can happen is Tapestry bought all of them, meaning Coach bought all of them. What I think they are going to do and what they need to do is run everything through the coach machine. And when I say the coach machine, I mean change production, get new creative designers in there, creative directors, and run it all through China, make it cheap, make it trendy, and make it accessible. Um, and I think that's what Coach is going to do with Michael Kors. They've already done that with Kate Spade. You can see the similarities between Coach and Kate Spade. Um, unfortunately, when Coach or Tapestry bought Stuart Weitzman, everything from Stuart Weitzman was made um, overseas in one little small town. Um, they're so beloved to Stuart Weitzman, they actually have a statue of Stuart Weitzman in the town. When Tapestry bought them... Um, they moved everything to China, I believe, or not everything, the majority of things. Um, so I think that's what they're going to do with Michael Kors and just kind of run it through that coach machine, make everything trendy. Um, if coach or tapestry were smart, they would close almost all of the Michael Kors outlets, take it out of the department stores, and keep it only in boutiques with no sales or little to no sales. Or let the department stores have them, but clean up those department stores. When you go into Macy's here, it looks like a bomb went off. It's horrible. It's embarrassing. Um, maybe have different bags um, that only those department stores can get, but stop the sales, stop the outlets. This is what Reed Karkoff did to Coach when he was in charge, and Coach is still trying to fix that. Um, Winnie BLV said, <laughs> Coach and Dory Birch are fighting for that second story apartment. Now, the second story apartment in our triangle has a gorgeous view. Um, is it Coach or is it Tory Birch? Macy's is like a Kmart now. Macy's in New York versus Macy's at the Mall of America, night and day, night and day. The escalators at the Macy's and Mall of America don't even work. You have to walk up and down. And I'm sorry, in 2024, at my current weight, I am not walking anywhere. What I will do is walk right on down to Nordstrom, where the escalators work, where I had lunch today. Um, our Nordstrom has a restaurant. It's so good because it's quiet. Um, so the triangle. I'm only going to say this because of price point. 
I don't know quality for Tory Burch. Um, I'm going to say Coach is on that second floor apartment with the great view. She can see Central Park, but Tory's above her. And I'm going to say that just because of the price point. Um, I think, and then, and then, you know, we'll get into above Tory would be, we're getting into Prada, Chloe, Gucci, you know, and then at the top of the pyramid is the top. Um, they sell it. Oh, okay. Lux Sensational says, I honestly feel coach quality is way better than Tory. I don't know. Okay. So like I said, I can only speak for this from price point. I don't know Tory's quality. I know coach's quality very well. Um, I don't know Tory's quality. A very close friend of mine is the store manager of Tory. Um, she previously was a store manager of Louis Vuitton for 10 years and coach for 10 years. So she can speak to quality. Um, I'll have her on. I've had her on Men on Bags many times. Um, she can talk to us about quality. Um, Dooney. Dooney does not live in this building. Dooney, here's the apartment building. Is Dooney in this apartment building? Is the call coming from inside the house? Hmm. Let me think about this, Winnie. Let me think about this. Um, Dooney. Now, Dooney started, I believe, do I have a Dooney? I have a Dooney over there. Dooney started, is it 1975? Correct me if I'm wrong, 1975 by Peter Dooney or, or the Dooney family. I need to do my research more because um, I'm all about product knowledge and brand history. Um, so Caleb says Dooney has a cottage in Cape Cod. I only learned that from Caleb's thumbnail. <laughs> Knowing is knowledge, knowledge is power. Here you go. Um, so Dooney, 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 Dooney. Is Dooney in the apartment building? What do you guys think? Is Dooney in the apartment building? Where is she? Dooney is in its own house. Um, Dooney lives on the block. Yes, Dooney lives on the block. Um, I don't necessarily think Dooney's in the apartment building. She lives on the block. Let's say that. She could be in the next building over. Um, she's not on the second floor overlooking Central Park. Um, yes, Dooney lives in a different building. Um, Dooney... Hmm... Dooney has its own home. It doesn't need to rent its space. Um, she does her own thing. Huh. Yes, Dooney is not in the building. She's building adjacent. Um, they're in the same complex. Um, Dooney has a brownstone on the corner. Yes. Um, who would be with Dooney? So Dooney makes another brand called Henry from Peter Dooney. Um, Henry would be in that cottage. Um, I think you'd have more brands like J.W. Hume, who have been um, around since 1905, uh, handmade. Um, she lives rent fee and fixes all the plumbing, girl. Um, who else would be with Dooney? This is a really good conversation, you guys. I'm glad we've had this dialogue because that's very interesting to me. Um, hmm. Oh, yep, 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 Caleb's right. Um, I don't know, because when you think of like iconic American brands, you have to give Michael Kors props for being Michael Kors. Now, I only say Michael Kors lives in the basement with the coin-operated laundry because of what I see at Macy's. Um, Michael Kors himself is a genius. He designed everything, you know, in thought of his mother. That New York jet set, I'm on my yacht, spending my bajillions because I sold everything the coach. That's the attitude. 
Um, when you think of that Michael Kors or Michael Kors collection, then we're up here. Michael Kors is up here. She's up here, girl. Um, but when you think of like the Michael Kors boutiques, she's in the basement. There's a couple of spiders. They don't pay rent. They just clean the bags. Um, but Michael Kors collection up there. So Mark Jacobs, Mark Jacobs is definitely in the building. Now Mark is a personal hero to me. Mark can do no wrong. I don't care what Jacob says, those Chanel ballet flats. Mark can run all over New York all she wants. She can go run around with Pharrell and ask Pharrell where he lives in France. <laughs> um, Mark. So, <laughs> they run to cot in the basement. <clears throat> so, there's... Okay, let's break this down. When Mark Jacobs was a creator, creative director, the first creative director of Louis Vuitton, the person responsible for putting Louis on the map. A lot of people don't know when Louis was around before Mark, there was nothing. There was luggage and a speedy. Mark Jacobs is the one who made everything, absolutely everything. And it's mind blowing to me when I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your Murakami speedy. Mark Jacobs, Takashi Murakami, 33 different colors. And someone's like, what? No, it's a Louis. And I'm like, oh, Oh, Lord, please. Um, so, when Mark started, he had Mark Jacobs, okay? Then he had Mark by Mark Jacobs, Jacobs for Mark by Mark Jacobs. What happened was he sold Mark Jacobs everything to LVMH for something like 280 million or 200 million while he was still at Louis. I think he did this upon his exiting. Now the Marc Jacobs products were made in Italy. The bags were made by hand. The clothes was made in Italy. Um, you know, the best textiles you could find, the bags were the it bags. The Stam bag, he named that after our model. Um, her last name is Stam. Uh, and that was a girlfriend of his. Then upon selling it, they made everything Mark Jacobs. So there was a confusion of Mark by Mark Jacobs and Mark Jacobs. So if you had the stam bag, um, you, I feel you would have to be like, oh, this is Mark Jacobs collection made in Italy. And then if you had, you know, Mark by Mark Jacobs, um, you'd have to be like, oh, okay, well, this was $200 where the stam was $2,000. Um, now he has Mark Jacobs. Um, he is making clothes. Nobody cares about them. Nobody cares, girl. They want your bags. So he came back with the tote bag and the tote bag kind of put him back on the map. Um, now he has the sack bag, which girl, whoever came up with that needs to be fired. Um, so, and then he has the barrel, the mini bag, you should have just stuck with a tote, ride that thing out till the wheels fall off, keep cashing them checks. Um, I think, so Mark Jacobs will go down in fashion history as someone who just blew everything out of the water. He is that girl, he will always be that girl. Mark Jacobs is the it person. Always has been, always will, I will die on that hill. Um, where does Mark Jacobs now fall in that building? This is very sad to say, and a little tear is coming. <sighs> Mark Jacobs. Because of the tote bag, oh, don't get mad at me, you guys. He's under Tory Burch. He's on the third floor. Now, Mark Jacobs himself, girl, she is in the Hamptons on a yacht docked next to Michael Kors laughing all the way to the bank. But because of the tote bag, he's on the third floor. Third floor is above coach, below Tory. Um, Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, pioneer of American casual sportswear the iconic polo bear, 
where is Ralph in the house? So I think this is going to fall under another Dooney, um, where Ralph is not on that building. I think Ralph is in its own building like Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger's building is not as fabulous, even though I watched a whole documentary about his yacht. Um, Ralph Lauren, though, has his own brownstone. When I tell you it's the most beautiful brownstone, it's gorgeous. And it's got a little coffee shop named Ralph on the first floor. Um, I don't think Ralph can fit into the triangle because he doesn't really have... Unless you're hardcore Americana or only wear purple label, he doesn't really have the it bag or it factor like the tote bag or the stand bag um, or the speedy. He has the Ricky, yes. Um, is that an it bag though? Has that ever been an it bag? Worldwide, people have that bag. Yes, celebrities have it. Caleb just showed... Um, uh, a royal using it, um, uh, and that was gorgeous. But I think it'd be fair to say Ralph has his own beautiful, beautiful brownstone um, in a gated community next to our building. Um, I honestly love a lot of MJ's designs, have for years, but all that blueprint, bold print kills it for me. Um, so I think that's kind of where the building lays. Now, let's talk about the Hermes lawsuit. So two women in California are suing Hermes for the practices of selling Birkins and Kellys. My understanding um, is they have spent X amount of money hoping in other categories, hoping to be offered a Birkin, only to be offered nothing. Um, they have bought this, that. You see so many people on the Hermes journey um, buying Oran, sandals, dishware, blah, blah, blah. Then you have someone like my girlfriend, Cindy, a heated mess. I love Cindy. She's absolutely amazing. We've been friends for years. Um, walks into Hermes and they offer her a Birkin. She does a whole video, breaks down the price, how she paid for it, everything else walks back into Hermes and they offer her another Birkin and she buys it. You don't tell me these people at Hermes are not watching YouTubers. They've got to be watching um, Jerusha, everyone else. Um, shout out to Jerusha. I love Jerusha. Um, she gave a shout out to Men on Bags when I did that with Doc Luxury, so I love her. Um, so with this lawsuit, there's a couple of things that irritate me. The main thing being we have major problems in the United States and you want to sue a luxury brand because you spent too much in other categories and weren't offered a handbag, yet we have, I don't want to get into the problems we have in America, but we have major problems, major problems, and you want to sue Hermes. I'm going to say this, 5Gs please, good God girl, get a grip. I mean, come on. Um, if you want a Birkin, do what I did. Do what Caleb did. Go the pre-loved route. You'll get what you want. You'll get what you want for a price point you're comfortable at. You're not buying other junk um, that you don't need. I'm not trying to build a relationship with a sales associate. I mean, there's... As Jacob says, a polka player. You're a polka player. Um, it's mind blowing to me that you want to form a relationship with a sales associate to get something. Now, when I was at Henry Bendel, I was there about seven years. I had a lot of relationships with my guests and they became friends. Henry Bendel was nothing like Hermes. You weren't buying, 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 so I could offer you. They had bags that were handmade in Italy for thousands, yes. I would sell that to you in a heartbeat without even you saying anything. Girl, if that Amex will go through, that bag is yours. Um, never would I ever try and build 
a relationship with a sales associate? My mind is blown how unfulfilling is your life that that's what you have to do. Thank you. Brian says, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to let someone who can't afford the bag be a gatekeeper over me. Hell no. Five G's, please. Good God, girl, get a grip. Um, I just... I just don't get it. Why are you doing that? And then you want to get a lawyer and pay for that and have a class action lawsuit? Oh my God, Jane Birkin is in heaven right now putting more stickers on her Birkin because she knows the whole thing is a joke. She knew the whole thing was a joke. Look at how she carried her Birkin. Look at how she talked about a Birkin. She even denounced the Birkin because of the way they treated animals. Um, Caleb Snell, resale all the way, baby. 100%. Caleb made a whole video on his journey of getting his Birkin and Kelly. Not once would he ever go to Hermes and try and build a relationship, spend thousands of thousands of dollars that Zayn had to work for um, in order to be offered a bag? That's craziness. That's craziness. I'll go to Hermes and buy perfume, uh, chapstick, and uh, some scarves. I love their scarves. As far as scarves go, top of the game, no one can beat them. They've made over 2,000 different prints. Absolutely amazing. Each color is hand laid. It's it's just mind blowing, their scarves. Um, go to Fashion File. There's a reason Fashion File is number one in what it does. Fashion File does not mess around when it comes to Birkins. You get what you want, when you want it, pay for the shipping, you'll get it the next day. If you don't like it, don't cut the keg, keep the bag, send it back. Um, Stephanie says, I feel like these women have nothing better to do with their time. I completely agree. I'm not saying use your money and help certain situations in your community or help fix this problem in the United States or help fix that problem, but what are you doing with your life, girl? Huh. D says, I love Fashion File. I love Fashion File. There's Fashion File, Rebag, Bag Borrow or Steal, um, Lux Collective. Um, uh, who are the ones out of New York? Bag Reculture. Um, I mean, there are handfuls, luxury garage sale that are 100% trusted, 100% authentic resellers that you can go to. You don't wanna play these games. And I'm sorry if you won't buy pre-loved, um, used, excuse me, um, then that's just on you. Then you deserve whatever you're getting. Don't say rebag to Winnie. If you look in the mirror and see say rebag three times, Winnie pops in and goes, hey bitch. <laughs> um, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Um, not flea bag. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just mind blowing to me. Um, oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. I bought some lights. I Brian says I agree. Caleb, why play that game with someone who twists an essay? Um, Didi Bean, hello, aloha. That's funny. Um, I, and I agree. Why play that game? Um, hmm. Oh my God. Don't say that. Craig says Janice was just in the reflection behind you. Oh my God. Now you're freaking me out. Don't. Oh my God. Are you guys serious? Oh my gosh, don't say that. It's <laughs> yet yeah, now, now I can't go to sleep. Now I can't go to sleep, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, now I gotta shed a tear. Um she was in the doorway, sorry. 
Um, now I'm staring because I'm scared. Um, okay, Monarch says, Hermes is my favorite brand. I can't afford a Birkin. My essay has never tried to sell me anything. Um, there's no Hermes here. I have a very small um, purchase history with Hermes. Now, my purchase history with Fashion File is much bigger, much larger, much deeper. Um, she looked happy. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, girl. We got the door fixed. The door broke. I was going to go live earlier, but the door broke. So my landlord had to come and fix it. Um, yes, the Medusa. Sea salt over your shoulder. Oh, okay. Let's. The closest thing we have to sea salt is Bobby Brown Beach. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, white sage, sage, white sage. So I have thoughts on people using sage. I am not of that culture. And in my culture, Hawaiian, we don't use sage. Um, so I don't feel comfortable using sage because that is not of my ancestry. That is not of my people. Um, I have definite Caleb Snell. I have definitely surpassed the Birkin pre-spend on Fashion File. Caleb's got an amazing collection. If you don't follow Caleb Snell, what world are you living in? Caleb's Caleb's that girl. I love Caleb. Um, Winnie BLV, she's gone. Uh, Miss Jelly, Janice wants a Birkin. Um, yeah, so that's the closest thing I had to sea salt. Um, Fashion File. Everyone knows um, Foxy LV is one of my best friends. I love her. Her name is Angel. Um, her Instagram got taken down again. Years ago, she had a birthday party at Fashion File. Sarah, who owns Fashion File, let her run around in the cage. They call the warehouse the cage because um, it's locked up like a cage and pick a bag out. And she picked a Python Louis hobo if i remember correctly i might be wrong but i think that's what she picked out um the pictures are amazing it's just amazing stephanie i have a birkin and a few evelyn's when i was in new york the essay attempted to sell me a kelly to me based on my purchase history it was very icky i agree with you um let's Okay, let's use my friend Stanley Dragon Jr., for example. Her name is MJ. On Instagram, she's Stanley Dragon Jr. Her collection is probably one of the biggest I've ever seen. Um, if you think Foxy LB has a collection, that's just one room in Stanley Dragon Jr.'s house. Her purchase history for every brand in New York City is massive. When I went to New York, she took us to Hermes. Um, they knew her by name. I picked out a couple of perfumes, boxed it up immediately, put twillies around them. Not ribbon, twillies. That's how much Stanley Dragon Jr. has spent. Um, and we were just guests of her in the store. Um, she's been offered bags left and right. Does she want them? No. She will go to Fashion File. She's smarter than that. Um, Winnie BLV. Foxy has the Union Jack Speedy. Yes, she does. Um... I adore Foxy LV. She's just one of my besties. I love her. She's the best person in the world. If you want someone who can shop with you all day long, Stanley Dragon Jr., Pink to Paris, Mick and Love, and um, uh, Foxy LV. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they probably saw I was from Kentucky. I'm guessing they thought that's what makes me gullible. Oh, well, Stephanie, that's, yeah, you know, what do you say to something like that? That's just horrible. Um, I miss Foxy LV on YouTube. So she, on YouTube, didn't like the way she looked or sounded. Um, so she deleted, I think she deleted all those videos. I'm not sure. Um, she deleted all those videos. Um and she was in a previous relationship. She's very open about it, so I'm not spilling any tea. Now she's in a new relationship where she's much happier. She might return to YouTube. Um, uh, a lot of people don't know her biggest hobby is not handbags. It's pythons. 
she breeds pythons. Um, I think she's got something like a hundred pythons in her house. Um, she's got a bag room, a consignment room, and then a room for pythons. That is her true love. Um, So the Union Jack flag bag, people want it. I don't think, to me, I'd rather have a multicolor um, Speedy over that Union Jack. That's not our country's flag, girl. Why do you want that, traitor? Um, yeah, so there's, there's that. I'd rather have a multicolor Speedy. So Caleb, if you ever want to donate to another content creator, a multicolor Speedy in Blanc. Um, oh no, Blanc is white. What's black? Noir? Noir? Am I correct? You can just send it on up a couple of states. Um, Jolie's simple opinion had a multicolor. I had a multicolor Speedy and it ended up being fake. Um, and... Poshmark authenticated it um, and I got it and I knew as soon as I opened the bag that it was a replica. Um, I FaceTime Foxy LV and she was like, oh girl, this is one of the worst, worst super fakes I've seen. Um, and I tried to get my money back. They said it was authentic, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I just threw it away. Um, I'm also banned on Poshmark from commenting because I troll a lot on Poshmark for people who sell, um, fake bags as authentic. If you're selling a fake as a fake and letting people know, more power to you. If you're selling a fake as an authentic, then I troll. Dr. Trolly McTrollertens comes in. Um, Birkin Boy. So when I sold off most of my collection, I sold all my multicolor collection. I'm high-key hating that decision now. Caleb, more <laughs> never. Um, huh, Union Jack. Nope, I'm just not. Yeah, Caleb Snell, I can't with Poshmark. I'm the same way. I, I'm, I have a whole list of things I've hardened because I do want a couple of boxer bags. Um, there's a Ralph Lauren tote. It's purple label. It's a tote I've never seen before. Caleb, I'll put it in your Discord um, under Ralph Lauren, and you guys can tell me what you think. It's only $200. Tags are still attached. Um, and then there's a couple of other bags I want in there. There's a Chanel Maxi. I think it's the Maxi. I'm not too familiar with Chanel sizes. Um, I don't know which one's the biggest, Maxi or Jumbo. It's the biggest single flap. Um, I think Don, Don might know. Um, so I want that. That's on my heart list. Um, Jackie, Jolie's simple opinion, Def Leppard, okay, hair band, yes. Um, Birkin Boy, I'm selling my Celine Edge, large black and green, if anyone is interested. Birkin Boy has a wonderful collection. Hit him up on Instagram, um, and, you know, Oh my God, I love Joe Elliott, says Winnie B. L. V. Um, I, Don, I knew I could count on you. Maxi is the biggest. Okay, so it's a maxi single flap um, meant for traveling. Um, they only want a couple thousand, which is crazy, but I kind of want it. Um, Caleb Smell, I hate when Poshmark has what you're looking for, no one else does, but I can't bring myself to go back to the Poshmark for anything. Um, I'm kind of the same way. I like Poshmark and I hate Poshmark. They send me all these emails saying, stop trolling, blah, 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 this and that, that and this. Um, yes, Don, I knew you would know that bag, my dear. I, I knew you would know it. Don knows her stuff. And Don has a wonderful collection. I will tell you one of the things I love about Don is one of the things I love about Caleb. Um, you can go from Duty and Burke to Hermes and have that same twinkle in your eye talking about Duty and Burke than talking about Hermes. That's what I love. Minx, um, Minx for all, Mini. Mini's the same way. Um, 
That's what I really love about people. So Don, Caleb, that's one of the things that I just adore about the two of you. Um, let's see here. Don loves couture. I've trolled people selling fakes. <laughs> I wanted to go to, last time I was in New York was with um, uh, Pink to Paris. If you guys go on YouTube, um, Pink to Paris is a very close friend of mine. I love her. We went and visited Stanley Dranger Jr. and um, some other people. Um, and I wanted to go to Canal Street to laugh. Nobody else wanted to go. So we did one of those bus tours where you get up at like 6.30 in the morning. And you can get on, get off, get on, get off, whatever you wanted. But nobody else wanted to go to Canal Street. Um, I think it's hilarious. I think it's a riot. I want to go into um, a secret room and see the super fakes. Um, I just, I think it's fun. I think it's giddy. Um, I just think it's the best thing in the world. Would I ever buy anything? No, God, no. You guys know me. Oh, n never in my life from my cold, dead, gay hands. Um, but I love looking because I think it's hilarious. They can pull out a whole jacket. They will unzip that jacket and it's every Chanel charm, you know, button, everything you could ever want then unzip this side and it's every tiffany return to tiffany bracelet you could have ever seen in your life um so yes um so i would like to have everybody meet up in vegas i want to plan a really big vegas trip if everybody was to do that i'm not far from caleb snell so i do plan to see caleb um sometime before i go back to oahu um and I'll work that out with Caleb and Zane. I don't mind flying down there, driving down there, meeting somewhere, anywhere, um, and hanging out for a day, going shopping, doing whatever, thrifting. I don't care. I think it would just be fun. Um, Winnie BLV, New York meetup, Philly too. Yes. So there's that meetup. I don't want to impose, and I know I joked about going. I don't want to invite myself to something I wasn't invited to, so... You guys have an amazing time. It sounds like it's going to be fabulous. I'm just not one to impose. Um, Caleb, yes, that would be very fun. Yeah, Caleb, um, if I can tool around the city in an H2 and not hit anything, I'm down to come down and see you. Um, when Pink to Paris had a birthday party at um, Luxury Garage Sale, in the, I think it's called the Gold Coast of Chicago, Doc Luxury, who I did Men on Bags with, took the mega bus and said it was the worst thing in his life. Um, oh, Winnie B, I don't think I was invited. Don, I'm inviting you. Get over here, Saya. Winnie B, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, then count me in. Because um, I want to see King of Persia. Then we can hop on that little train and go up to the city. And I've got a bunch of friends in the city. What I really, really want to do um, is go to, is it called Woodbury Commons? Yes. Woodbury Commons. I really want to check that out. Um, yeah, that, that would be awesome. I've never been to New York City. Winnie BLV, mouth of the south. You've never been to New York City? Girl. Do you like pizza? Do you like rats? Do you like shopping on Fifth Avenue where you've never seen stores look like that in your life? Then you'll love New York. Um, never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever. New York is awesome. I have to take Xanax when I fly because everybody knows I've got agoraphobia, so it takes a lot for me to even leave the house. I took a Uber black SUV from Fifth Avenue to the airport in Jersey cost me 200 and some odd dollars and I fell asleep because I took a Xanax. Um, then woke up at the airport and uh, I was reminded I was also um, charged for the tolls. Um, so it came out to almost $300. But I was not on that train. I did not get lost. Because um, when I got there, I landed in Jersey, took the train to New York City and ended up at some museum somewhere. Um, and Stanley Dragon Jr. had to find me <laughs> in Nettie's World. If you go on YouTube or 
uh, Instagram, Nettie's World. They all had to find me. I was so lost. Um, then we had brunch at, is Don, is Barney's closed or Bergdorf's? Which one is closed? We had lunch at the one that's open. I always get confused. Um, you want to go shopping, Winnie? You want to see a shoe room? Go there. Um, oh, Brian, I'm going to New York City this summer specifically to go to Goyard. A lot of people don't know Goyard is one year older than Louis Vuitton. Um, Barney's is close. So Bergdorf's is where we got lunch at. Um, Bergdorf's, Winnie, you want to see the most amazing store next to Harrods? It's Bergdorf's. Um, it is outstanding. Their food, they gave everybody complimentary champagne. I know that's not your jam. Um, they gave everybody complimentary champagne, luxury, and then they've got the men's building. I might have bought some red bottoms. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, Don Loves Couture. That was so sad. It was my favorite. Yes, it was very sad. I miss Henry Bendel in New York City. Oh, so, Henry Bendel, yep, yeah, I will cry over Henry Bendel. Now, you want to see a store on Fifth Avenue that was gorgeous, that I think beat all of them? Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel was the first luxury store ever on Fifth Avenue. Henry Bendel was the first to ever have shop and shop um, techniques in a retail store. Henry Bendel was the first to offer in-store fitting rooms, or not in-store fitting rooms. It was it in-store tailoring? Something along those lines. Um, oh, Apple Blonde, hello. Um, we're talking about Bendel. Um, Andy Warhol was the first ar artistic director or illustrator for Henry Bendel. Um, Henry Bendel's nephew, Henry Bendel, um, made a line of shoes called Belgian shoes. They're Belgian loafers that are still sold in New York on Fifth Avenue. That's Henry Bendel's nephew. Jackie Kennedy made the Fifth Avenue store a national landmark. It's got original Lalique windows. Um, their fragrance department, out of this world. Um, Anna Sui started at Henry Bendel. Um, Michael Kors used to work at Henry Bendel. Um, Farrakai, if you guys remember Farrakai, he had a whole floor at Henry Bendel for his salon. Rent the Runway was on the seventh floor. Um, Bendel had their own line of clothes. Bendel had everything. And then when they were bought by limited brands, which is uh, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, they changed everything. They phased all of that out and they just went to Henry Bendel, what you remember over the last kind of 10 or 20 years. And then they brought in a creative director named Pina. Um, and she's the one who really made Henry Bendel into the last 10 years of what you remember. Um, Pina was the director of McHugh for Alexander McQueen. She started McHugh, which was their kind of Mark by Mark Jacobs version. Um, ask me why I have all this knowledge, I don't know, as far as fashion goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, Bendel, yeah, yeah, yeah. That will bring a tear to my eye. Um, I loved Henry Bendel. I spent so many years cleaning those damn chandeliers. Um, and all the Bendel stores were phenomenal. They were gorgeous. It cost like a million dollars to build one Bendel store. Um, leather walls, leather shelves, marble tile, Italian Murano chandelier blown glass. I mean, just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I absolutely loved Bendel. Um, we are about to reach 100 minutes here. I feel like time has flown by. We're just chit-chatting. I don't know how Jacob does it for six hours, but um, I can see how you can easily do it for two hours. Um, I've got my bags down here, and I said I'm open to trading that J.W. Hume or Moschino with anyone. We talked to Ed. Ed is going to be the new um, owner of this Ricky bag. 
as long as he makes a video review on it, on his thoughts, first impressions, blah, 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 and then maybe he can pass it on. Um, what do they put in the old New York Bendel store? Someone just told me, hold on, um, not Harry Winston. Harry Winston is their neighbor. Um, what did they put in the old Henry Bendel store? Sorry, my nose is a little runny. I apologize. Um, I can't remember offhand. I know someone knows. Um, a game on <laughs> Winnie B. LB with Everyone knows it's a Halloween Express, not a Kmart. <laughs> Is Kmart even a thing still? Um, huh. I can't remember what they put in there. Bath and Body Works. Give me all the wrong answers. What did they put in the Henry Bendel? <laughs> and Bath and Body Works flagship store. <laughs> Last I saw it was still empty. Oh. Only in Australia. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are funny. Um, a friend of mine is a Salvation Army on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Just the donation center. Um, a friend of mine is the coach manager and just gave his notice to go to Bath and Body Works. Um, Cucumber melon deserves only the finest, Caleb. You get your crusty capped lotion out of here. Everyone knows we use Creed in this house. This is a Creed house. Um, yeah, I don't know what's in there. But yes, my friend who was manager coach is now leaving to go to Bath and Body Works. Um, why? I think stress. I don't know. Um, work-life balance I don't know everyone knows I have a love-hate relationship with coach um seven interviews in a couple of months people seven interviews in a couple of months a farmer's market <laughs> when he BLB says a farmer's market um so yeah oh one more thing I wanted to talk about what is it called a laundromat I went to a laundromat so the washer and dryer here is broken. I went to a laundromat. Um, I went to a place called Suds America. They have tanning, massage chairs, um, like a gambling sort of game where you drop the quarters and then there's like quarters and hundred dollar bills laying there. And if it hits the quarters, like it goes like this and um, like the quarters fall over and the hundred dollar bills fall over. So I might've played that. They've got pinball, internet um and my old roommate's nickname speed queen um washing machines i was blown away i've never been to a laundromat never had to go to a laundromat but since the ones here are broken um i do to a laundromat i'm going to leave a google review fun fact style loves to leave google reviews on everything um I'm going to leave a Google review about Suds America and how much I love them. Um, Stephanie, oh my God, I love the quarter game. Winnie, oh my God, we used to have an exotic fish store with a tanning bed place. It was called the Fish and Tan. <laughs> this one, so you can leave your clothes there. They will wash and dry it for you and you pay them. I don't think I want someone handling my skibbies. Um, I will do it myself with... Like I said, my former roommate's nickname, Speed Queen. Um, that's a whole nother story time. Um, you put in like $9 and it holds like five or seven loads or something. That's another former roommate's nickname. Um, I love it. Oh my gosh. And then I put it in the big dryer that's meant for like comforters or shoes or something. And I just sit there, I sit on my phone, go on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Um, Birkin Boy, oh my god, me too, Sai. I'm a Google review queen. I will review the shit out of anything, and I will leave it on there. Look up Frozen Luxury on Google. You will see all my reviews. Um, Winnie BLV, if you did have someone do your laundry, Patrick would be like, what? Um, yes, yes, he would. Caleb, your roommates sound exciting. <laughs> 
drive loads. Well, damn. I've lived, Caleb. Um, I've lived. Um, I've lived at facilities. I've lived in apartments. I've lived. Um, so there's different story times I can do videos on with roommates. I just can't say their names because Speed Queen will sue me. Um, Craig, Winnie BLV. Craig, what do you know about Five Loads? I should call him. I miss him. Um, so, yeah. Um, the only roommate I have right now is the girl who you guys said was in The Reflections. Um, story time. Story time about the day I was served an order of protection at work. That's a story time we could talk about. Um, story time about the six months I was encouraged to work at Goodwill. Um, story time about when I went around a city bus with my car and got five tickets and lost my license for a year. Um, story time on me throwing up in first class, going to Oahu, um, then throwing up in the bathroom because I have major life-changing anxiety. Um, story time about me not leaving my mom's house for five months because I ran out of medication and couldn't get my medication back. Um, so I've got a lot of story times. We can go on forever. Um, story time on how I am on my ninth car because I've crashed all of them. Not like horrible car accidents, but enough to like total the cars out. Um, story time on how two 13 year olds stole my Kia. Um, fun fact, if you have a Kia or Hyundai, put an Apple AirTag in that thing because that's how they recovered my car and caught the two 13 year olds. Um, it's like driving meds. I feel like Winnie BLV, girl, yes, it's rough out there for a player. Um, I could do a lot of story times, a lot of story times. Mama has lived. Mama has lived. Mama has lived. Um, okay, so we are at the 100 minute mark. I'm going to call it a day. I love all of you. I hope you all have a what? Gay day. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to Jacob. I hope he is recovering well. Um, have a wonderful night, everyone. I will probably go live. I don't know when. I still have to make a short video for tonight, like a funny video. Um, I'll go live sometime this week. And then I still have a lot of videos planned, but you guys all know I had some health issues and we're not over the hump yet. Um, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Caleb Snell, that was fun. Oh, thank you, Caleb. I miss your lives. Um, Winnie BLV. Girl, Wednesday, wait, wait, Wednesday. I am all about it. Um, Dawn, you have a wonderful night, my dear. D, have a wonderful night. Craig, Monarch, um, back to Jackie's house. Is Jackie live? Oh my gosh, I feel horrible if she's still live. Um, you guys tell me if Jackie's still live because I'll put it on my projector right now. Projector remote. I'm happy to go live with you, my doll. Um... Projector turned on. No, she's not. Okay. Well, we'll get her to go live again. <laughs> okay, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Everyone take care. Have a blessed weekend.